Wagwan people, so we're again with some fresh updates in regards to Vibes Cartel trial hearing that is currently underway. So the morning session has been completed and as always, me are providing with the updates them. So based on how it looks, yeah, it looks like a big win for Vibes Cartel. You see me? Because the prosecuting team, the DPP, not seems as if they are push hard enough for a retrial. And the reason why I said that is going to be explained throughout the video. So now watch it. I'm not going to get the full details, I go through it step by step, the way them lay out the information. So the defense would have closed off their argument yesterday, that would have been Vibes Cartel lawyers. They would have closed off their argument yesterday, three days, they had to put together a good argument and I should say they put together a really good one, make the judge happy and say yo, the prosecuting team definitely have to explain why when the rights was breached why there should be a retrial after so much things go wrong after evidence after everything yes at that um bishop mcdonald said you see people so today now the prosecution start them case and might i say it just sound weak it not sound like them really a push for a retrial them just agree because yes they can't seem weak that and this is just my opinion them just can't roll over basically and say yes just let him out know they at least have to Look like them put up an effort, right? That is my opinion. So basically, they start off the morning saying that um, the, the, the government have to go bear the cost of a retrial. They just have to go do it. Basically, that them say because there needs to be a retrial, which means say, the government have to use taxpayers' money to fund the entire retrial. I remember this, this trial has been the longest trial in Jamaican history. And the amount of money they had to spend the last time so imagine how much it has cost this time around because it is even predicted to be longer based on what we are here secondly what the, the prosecuting team is saying that they could accommodate a retrial for next year year 2025 early next year so it could be anywhere from january to about march in between that time period so almost another year, Vibes Cartel would have to spend behind bars before there could be a retrial. And the judge had major issues with that as well. The time factor. And the judge, may I tell you this, judge just, judge just has struck out on the argument. They're not striking it down in a boat, really striking out, rebutting, asking some really uh, vital questions. Because remember, the pointers that was raised by um, Isaac and his team was the time already spent and the health issue is a problem. So the time issue is a real problem. Bishop McDonald is finding a real issue with the timing, how long this would actually take and how it will affect Cartel and the rest among them. So, so far, things look really good for Vibes Cartel. The DPP even tried to justify the breach in because remember one of their constitutional rights would have been all long this whole thing take to process and it shouldn't have take, took so long basically. So the judge raised the question saying that the, prosecu the prosecuting team need to really pick a side on this because the rights already breached, you are trying to justify it and the men already spent like 13 years in custody for all this and it still cannot be resolved so they need to pick a side pick a position on this basically so the judge not agreeing with the fact that they are trying to justify that um the breach was a normal thing basically you see me so really and truly a good day for vibes cartel another thing um that the the prosecution raised was that the witness availability saying that the witness they would be able to gather all the witnesses our majority of them would be present for this case the judge struck out again and said this could be the deciding factor of the retrial i remember i said based on them arguments where them are put forward people to me it no sound like them have a strong enough case you know sound like them really a push based on what me hear but them still have another day to convince the judge which would have been tomorrow and for the rest of this evening said we because this is just the morning session 
So the judge has said basically with the witnesses, remember how much years already passed, 13 years already passed since the witnesses would have been questioned, questioned and present for the initial trial. How would you be able to recoup all of those witnesses? So the judge basically has said, yo, we're not going to order a retrial to basically wait on you to find witnesses. This would basically be like an embarrassment and will be also breaching their rights again. So the judge really are consider all of the factors. I remember what me are saying, you see the arguments them way. Isaac and his team put forward people. So a really strong argument make the judge a question a struck out by all the way the DPP them officer and the arguments where them are put forward and base even though the DPP I say yo yes we can we could and as we can we could they can't give any real confirmation that they can get majority of the witnesses as yet so that I want another thing people and the judge basically Bishop McDonald put it out and said yes this could be the deciding factor of this thing if the ball has a swing to vibes Carter's side or phone side but remember all what me say based on how it go the judge has struck out and I really a rebut and all of them something there another thing that the judge had a really big concern with is how an active murder case file evidence rather got out to the public how was it that he, because even though um the conviction was made um vibe cartel they appeared like immediately so there weren't any space to say yeah this is done and dusted so how the evidence got out to the public who leaked these who got these um evidence leaked so that was a real big concern for the judge as well. So um, for the evening session now, that's what the judge is focusing on, how the evidence got leaked. And this should be an active case. So yes, people, as I said, based on how it's on and based on how the judge really has struck out and based on the answers that has been given by the DPP, the acting DPP, um, Claudia Thompson, it not sound like them are push hard enough. You know, it, it not sound like them have a strong case. But then again, this is my opinion and I could be wrong. This is all opinionated. Well, some of it, most of it is all facts that come from the news outlet. But yeah, that's the, the update on the morning session. And day four, we'll definitely continue to keep y'all up to date with all this. And based on the information given, y'all can leave y'all thoughts on this one in the comment section. Remember to like the video, subscribe if you are new.